Brands Estate Agents in Narry Warren and today I'm just going to be talking to you about the importance of choosing a conveyancer and getting a Section 32 organized once you have decided to sell your home. Throughout the sales process, you'll have two parties that will help you along the way. One is your estate agent and the second are the conveyances or solicitors you've chosen to hire to act on your behalf as well. Choosing a conveyancer to represent you is just as important as choosing an agent. You want to pick a company and a person you can trust as they're going to be there to help you throughout the whole process and any legal questions that you might have that might come up, they're there to help you throughout the way. As agents, we always tell our clients to get their conveyances sorted as soon as they can. One of the first things your conveyancer will do is draw up a section 32 for your property. Section 32s are otherwise known as vendor statements and they are an essential part in getting your property sold. It's always been a grey area on how long a section 32 takes to draw up. So it's important that you get onto it straight away to give your conveyances the most time you can in order to get that document prepared. As an agent, I must stress to you how important it is to have a section 32 ready before you put your property on the market. If I do an open for inspection and I don't have a section 32, it can sometimes hinder the sale because after you're open, I might have five or so buyers interested in submitting an offer. But if I don't have a section 32, I legally cannot draw up a contract of sale and that always comes with the risk that we might lose that buyer that will pay top dollar for your property. If you're unfamiliar with a section 32, it basically contains a lot of essential information about the property you are selling. The most important thing that it contains is the certificate of title reference. It has the exact details of the property and who owns it. If the property is associated with any body corporate fees, these will also be outlined in the section 32 as well. If you're selling your property and you do know your property has body corporate fees, section 32s for your property will usually take a little bit longer because you need to get the body corporate certificate. So always make sure you allow yourself a bit of extra time if you're in that scenario. If the property is currently being rented out, it'll also have details about the lease agreement in there as well. Therefore, investors can have a look to see exactly what the rental return is on the property. So that's pretty much all the information that you need to know. If you have any other questions, feel free to message us on our Facebook pages or give us a call here at Grant and Nary Warren. We're all more than happy to help. It's an exciting process selling your home. Conveyances and real estate agents love to help you along the way. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.